हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर डूइंग गुड वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न विद कीजला इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ कॉडी लेटरल्स वी शैल बी टेकिंग टू क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन रॉम्बस दीज आर द टू क्वेश्चन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस वीडियो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए बी सी डी इज अ रॉम्बस हुज डायग्नल्स इंटरसेक्ट एट ओ शो दैट ट्राइंगल ए ओ बी इज कॉन्ग्रेन टू ट्राइंगल सी ओ डी सो गिवेन टू अस इन दिस ए बी सी डी इज अ रॉम्बस and diagonals are intersecting at o and we know in the rhombus diagonals bisect each other at right angles so basically they are perpendicular to each other and they form 90 degree with each other as you can see in the given figure now we have to prove that triangle aob is congruent to triangle cod so basically we have to prove these opposite uh, triangles are congruent to each other now let's start with the proof in triangle aob and triangle cod AO is equal to CO and BO is equal to DO as diagonals bisect each other therefore we can say that AO is equal to CO and BO is equal to DO and further angle AOB is equal to COD is equal to 90 degree as diagonals intersect each other at right angles so they form 90 degree each and they are also vertically opposite angles so they are each 90 degree we can say that triangle aob is congruent to triangle cod by sas congruency that is side angle side congruency so these two uh, triangles are congruent now let's take up second question abc and adc are two equilateral triangles on a common base ac find the angles of the resulting quadrilateral show that it is a rhombus so given to us triangle abc and triangle adc are the two equilateral triangles having the common base ac as you can see in the given figure and we have to find all the angles of this quadrilateral abcd and further we have to prove that this quadrilateral abcd is a rhombus now let's start with the solution since triangle abc is an equilateral triangle we can say that all the angles of this equilateral triangle are equal to 60 degree so we can say angle abc is equal to angle bac is equal to angle acb equal to 60 degree now further since triangle adc is also an equilateral triangle so the its angles are also 60 degree so we can say angle dac is equal to adc is equal to dca each equal to 60 degree now further angle a comprise of two angles that is bac and dac that is 60 plus 60 is equal to 120 degree and similarly angle c also comprise of two angles acb and dca so it is also equal to 60 degree plus 60 degree equal to 120 degree so we have seen that angle a is equal to angle c is equal to 120 degree and angle b is equal to angle d is equal to 60 degree so over here we can say that opposite angles of this quadrilateral are equal now further since triangle abc is an equilateral triangle we can also say that its sides are also equal so ab is equal to bc is equal to ac this is the first equation now also in triangle adc because it's an equilateral triangle again all sides are equal so we can say ad is equal to dc is equal to ac this is the second equation now from 1 and 2 we can conclude that ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to da that is all the sides of this quadrilateral are equal to each other now since opposite angles are also equal like we have proved in part 1 that angle a was equal to angle c that is 120 degree and angle b was equal to angle d equal to 60 degree and further all sides are also equal so hence we can say that abcd is a rhombus so that's it hope you have understood both these questions please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a great day ahead